I'm Jim. I'm Alex. And we love biogeometry. Why do we love biogeometry? Because it's an applied science that allows us to more directly experience and interact with the natural world around us. Right, to make it healthier and safer for all living beings. Exactly. We invite you to join us. To learn to master your world. She means world. Hi, welcome back. In this session, we're going to learn how to calibrate our pendulums or review, if you've already gone through this, review how to calibrate for your personal wavelength. Probably the most exciting and useful part of biogeometry, at this point anyway, where you can test foods, supplements, other things in your environment uh, to see how they affect you. So the first thing is, before you're going to do that, you will take off, as we said, any jewelry. Watches especially, if you have a watch on your testing hand, just because the electrical signal can actually interfere with your field. So you want to take the watch off, anything like that bio medallion, uh, biogeometry medallion, take it off, and sit, breathe, you can, again, be hydrated, relaxed. You want to be able to focus in on what you're doing. So you're going to take that pendulum, put it back over your pinky, or not if you don't want to, you don't have to. Coil the excess string or chain, in this case, into your hands. And we're going to start by, instead of dropping it down, we know from experience that everybody, the human wavelength, is about four fingers, uh, four of your fingers. If you're larger, larger fingers, it'll be a little longer. So take four fingers, calibrate, and that's how long you're going to start with your string. It's usually a few millimeters past that, but this is a great starting point. And as you get into your search position, you can put your hand out and start lowering that and you want to connect, get, get into resonance with your own energy field. So in this case, Alex is just focusing on her hands, not thinking anything, putting her attention on the energy field around her hands. And when she gets that, and you can see she's going back and forth and trying a few times to make sure it's really affecting taking the pendulum from search position to a clockwise spin. Now, there's probably a two or three millimeter range there where she will get a spin. And in the center of that is what we call the sweet spot. That'll be where it's really the best connection, strongest spin, and that's the best area to test in. It takes practice, it takes a lot of times, you know, a lot of uh, calibrations and testing to really dial that in. And even if you're experienced, sometimes you might want to readjust a little bit once you have it, you're going to get a nice spin just like this. And at that point, you are ready to do your testing. Now, you want to make sure you didn't inadvertently calibrate for polarity, as we talked about earlier. So what she's doing is turning the hand over, because this side of the hand is negative. But it's spinning clockwise. She's great. If she had calibrated for polarity, when she turned her hand over, the pendulum, pendulum would have stopped and gone counterclockwise. And then she would have known, and if this happens to you, you know to stop and do it again. So start practicing on your personal wavelength. Get it down. Get that calibration so you're get, getting very comfortable with it. And we'll go into more detail next time. But, for example, Alex will test to see if this organic green tea strengthens your energy field or weakens it. Now, we're not, we don't do this and ask that question after she calibrates. We don't ask, is this good for me? All, we, all we're able to tell is if something strengthens or weakens our energy field or has no effect. But in essence, I think we all know if something weakens you, it's not something you want to take or use. And if something strengthens you, it's a, it's a good influence. So in this case, that organic green tea gives a nice clockwise spin. And it's probably good for Alex. Or, you know, it's good, good to drink. Okay. 
Now here's some sugar. Let's see what happens with the sugar. Okay, nothing, uh, maybe a little counterclockwise. So in her case, the sugar is not, is, is weakening her field. She might want to avoid sugar. Now I'm going to show you just real fast to give you an example. This is about how good you can tune in when you get quick, quick on this. You can do this quickly. The sugar in my case, I do this. I get a nice positive spin. It, it's organic sugar also. But for some reason, it just shows that everybody is different. So even when you think you've got, oh, this is an organic product, you're going to want to do some testing. You never know. And I think that's it for today, for this, for this session. Thank you. Thank you.